Now let's head on to problem solving of crystallization process and you'll know that this example is the one which has an evaporation. And to start with this, um, I want you to read the problem first before we solve and go back here after you've read the problem. In this case, let me illustrate the problem first by drawing a rectangle and we know very well that this rectangle represents our crystallizers and it's much simpler compared to evaporation evaporators. So I'll be drawing an arrow here to represent the feed and then and then I would also do something like another um, line here which could represent our crystals and then the liquor comes out here and then of course water will be evaporating from this equipment and then I can label all of this as the feed which is actually equal to 100 kilograms so we have f equals 100 kilograms and we know that this feed is fed at 30.6 kilogram per 100 kilogram h2o so it is important that you know this ratio of each um, solution because sometimes it is represented in terms of per solution instead of per solvent so you have to specify that when you try to like um, provide the given and then there's water here and then we also have the liquor or we call this a mother liquor and finally we have the crystals and again collectively we call these crystals and mother liquor as the magma of the crystallizer this mother liquor has a, to um, has a solubility of course we're assuming that it's an equilibrium 8.6 kilogram that's in barium nitrate and then that's per 100 kilogram of the solvent which is water and then it starts with the feed which is actually hot and then it is cooled to 290 Kelvin which is 17 degrees Celsius so basically what we have here is that the mother liquor is saturated at that um, at that condition so with this we start with the overall material balance and we know that for every o and b we just have to um, write the inlet and then the outlet so we have f is equal to w let's just represent what is w and then the crystals and then a c and then the mother liquor as let's say l so this is the o and b and then let us try to um, provide the necessary information right here it says also here that water, that 10% of the original water is evaporated. So let's add 10% of original water. So now we can substitute the values for this overall material balance. And then we have 100. That is equal to 10% of the original water. So we know that if we want to take water from this um, concentration, we know that that is actually 100 over 100 plus 30.6 this is the fraction of water in this expression because as you can see here this is something like um, given in terms of parts per solute per parts of solvent so if you try to like add them the values the numerator and the denominator you will be able to get the solution assuming that we have 100 kilograms of solvent so we have 100 over 100 plus 30.6 and we know that this is just the fraction of this um, water at this at the feed so we multiply this with 100 so we know very well that this is now the amount of water present on the original feed now if you multiply this with 10% so we know that this is the one that evaporates from the crystallizer and then we add uh, let me just place it right here so that we can see it clearly okay so then we proceed with the balance we have plus c and then plus l so we're left with the value of c plus l which is equal to 92.3430 and that is in kilograms now we proceed with the component balance and the component that will be balancing here is the solute so we know that to balance the solute we have C and then I mean F 
f x f is equal to c x c plus l x sub l and we know that we don't have to add water because we don't have any solute in the in the vapor phase so what we have here is the feed which is 100 and then the um, amount of solute present is simply 30.6 now this is divided by 100 plus 30.6 because that is the solution and then this is equal to c times xc now what could be the uh, value of our exit this is the fraction of the crystal and if you would be reading the problem you will know that barium nitrate is our solute and then it crystallizes into barium nitrate itself so this is an example of anhydrous crystal or it is a crystal wherein there is no amount of water um, trapped during the crystallization process so basically xc would be equal to one in this case so that is one and then we add l and then XL is the equilibrium concentration and we know that at 70 degrees Celsius we're given by this solubility so that is 8.6 and then we have 100 plus 8.6 so with this we have um, we have the first equation and then this one is the second equation so we can just use the two equations to unknowns and then solve for CNL so we have the crystals at 17.5 Zero three eight, that's kilogram, and then the liquor is seventy four point eight three nine two kilograms. So we just need the amount of crystals in this problem. So let's just use the box this final answer. Okay, so that's how simple this crystallization works. We just have to understand the concept of the overall metal balance, and then do the component balance for the material balance in crystallizers and remember this xl and xc should be represented in terms of the fraction of the feed because it says here that we have a feed that is in the form of barium nitrate without any hydrate form so of course if you want to balance that component you should be having um, the fraction expressed in terms of barium nitrate itself and if the crystal is formed as barium nitrate itself which is the same as the uh, solute that is entering then you will have xc which is equal to one now if the crystal formed is something like hydrated or it is um, with hydrate meaning it's hydrous so you would be having something like xc not equal to one because the crystal formed is not actually um, the same as the solute in the feed okay so that's it for our first problem now let's proceed with the second problem